Dave here, how are you? Have you ever tried to use a jigsaw and found that the thing isn't tracking straight or it's rolling and the blade's not going straight? It may not be the jigsaw, it may be your method. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you with my jigsaw here, the 420. Now, I do not use dust extraction with this machine. The reason being, it's an effect. It's pulling at the back of the machine and affecting how I guide the saw. Now, I hold onto the saw at the front only to hold it down. I do all of my work here. When you're going through a curve, do not be tempted to pull on the front any direction at all. It must be equal pressure left, left and right. Now, you may not be aware of this. Do some test pieces, see how you go. This stuff here is 42 millimeters thick. I'll cut this. I've got this on no pendulum, I think. Let me have a quick look. Uh, yeah, I want the neatest cut. I've got it on zero pendulum, which means the blade is just going straight up and down. It's not kind of doing this cut. And I'm using very, very good glasses. If I was to use my ordinary reading glasses, I would not be able to follow the line correctly. I need to see that blade as sharp as a tack to be able to steer it correctly. Now let's see how I go. <laughs> It's an old saying. <laughs> I'm going to tip this back a little. There's an old saying, let the saw do the cutting. And that's what I did there. I did not force it. Just have a look. I'll bring the camera off the stand and I'll all in one take so that you don't think there's any trickery here. And let's have a look around the edge of this cut. Now it's all a matter of letting the saw do the cutting. Don't force, you go from over the top, do not force the saw at any point. Now I think I have a square here somewhere. Yeah, okay, there it is. Here's my square. We're going to pop that on there and have a look. Okay. And on the corner. And around the corner, that's looking, blow that bit of dust off, so I'm not tricking anyone. And down here, so there you go. Put it back up on the stand. Flip this back over here, tip him back up a little. There you go, that was a, that was a super short one. And it just goes to show how easy it is. I do not use dust extraction when I use a jigsaw. I make sure that my leading hand, the one on the front of the saw, is not pulling the saw left or right. You have to really concentrate on that because it will happen automatically. You will start to pull the saw around the corner. Don't ever do that. Push from the back, equal pressure on the back of the saw, 
forcing it forwards. Don't, don't try and pull it round a corner that way. Thanks for watching. Keep on coming back and I shall see you next time. Bye.